Going down south, two big health challenges for Zimbabwe. First, the country is dealing with an outbreak of typhoid. At least uh, two people have died and dozens are sick. Authorities blame the dirty water supply worsened by the rainy season. Uh, the second front is mental health. Doctors call it a hidden crisis, but a new program is underway that could serve as a blueprint for tackling mental health problems in Africa. Henry Ridgewell reports. Doctors estimate one in four Zimbabweans suffer from depression or anxiety, but there are just 12 psychiatrists treating the country's entire population of 14 million. We can't possibly go the route of training psychiatrists and psychologists because it would take 15 years. Um, how are we going to provide treatment? Local doctors have come up with a simple but seemingly highly effective idea. Wooden seats, so-called friendship benches, were installed on the grounds of several Harare health clinics. Visitors were offered six one-to-one -one counselling sessions with lay health workers who have received some training. They are known as grandmother health providers. The very lowest cadre of the health system um, to train those women to offer uh, problem-solving therapy and so the patient explains what all their problems are and it's opening up the mind in the sense of allowing the patient to see that they can do something about their problems. Mm -hmm. The study involved more than 550 yeah, patients. After six months, only 14% of the patients in the friendship bench group reported symptoms of depression, compared to 50% in a control group. They were also five times less likely to have suicidal thoughts. Co-founder of the Friendship Bench program, Dr. Dixon Chibanda of the University of Zimbabwe, told VOA via Skype the intervention had a wide range of benefits. It's not only a mental health sort of um, package, but a package that actually improved outcomes of things like hypertension, diabetes, and, uh, and adherence to, to medication for people living with HIV. That success has led to friendship benches being rolled out to 60 clinics in Harare and two other cities. The Canadian government is helping to fund the expansion through its Grand Challenges Canada aid programme. It's going to be, uh, we think, one of the biggest programmes uh, for mental health in, in sub-Saharan Africa. Researchers say it could be a blueprint for mental health in low-income regions and could also offer lessons for treatment in richer countries. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.